Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Cakes by MK. So a lot of you may have come across the cake top forward trend which is going on at the moment. I'm actually a little bit late to the trend but a few of you did request this video and I've always wanted to create one of these cakes. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create one of these gorgeous cake top forward cakes all on your own. If you're new to my channel please click the subscribe button below and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you're updated whenever I upload a new video. Apart from that stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So the first step to making this top forward cake is to crumb coat a cake the way that you normally would. So what I've got here is I've got two layers of my chocolate cake recipe, which I'll post a link to below. And then I've also got some vanilla Swiss meringue buttercream here, which I'm going to be using as my frosting. And I'll post a link to that below as well. Now, usually when making a layer cake, I like to use three or more cake layers so that I've got a nice height to my cake. But with a cake top forward cake, we are going to be flipping it over. And so I don't want the top of my cake to be too wide. And so that's why I'm only using two cake layers, but that's just a personal preference. So if you do want it kind of, you know, wider on the top, when we flip it over, then you can use three or more cake layers for that. This might not make that much sense, but hopefully as we're moving to the tutorial, then it'll all come together. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to start off by crumb coating my cake layers onto an acrylic disc. Now I haven't used the cake board yet that my final cake's going to be sitting on because there is going to be kind of a bit of flipping and changing of the cakes to different cake boards and so that's why I'm just going to use this first and leave my final cake board right till the end. I'm just putting some simple syrup on my cake layer. And then I just flip the top layer over so that the bottom of that cake is the top of my layer cake so that I've got a really nice flat top. And then I'm putting simple syrup on my top layer. Okay, so I have done my crumb coat and now I'm going to pop this cake into the fridge just for about half an hour or so to allow the buttercream to firm up so that we can trap all those crumbs in there before I come back to do my final coat of buttercream. Now while my crumb coat is sitting in the fridge, I'm going to go ahead and wrap some baking paper around another acrylic disc. So when we come to the next step, we are going to be flipping the cake over and so we need kind of two cake boards or in my case I'm using acrylic discs. Now technically, if whatever you're using is non-stick, it should be fine just the way that it is. But I like to wrap baking paper around whatever I'm using just because I find when it comes to releasing it from the cake, it just makes it a little bit smoother and easier to remove the acrylic disc or whatever you're using. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap some baking paper around my acrylic disc and I'm going to just use some sellotape to secure it on either side. And you just want to make sure it's nice and tight when you wrap it. Okay, and that is it. So now I've got my acrylic disc covered in baking paper ready for the next step. So my crumb coat is out of the fridge now, my buttercream is nice and firm. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by placing a nice thick layer of buttercream and smoothing that out on the top of my cake. Now once that's nice and smooth, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get that acrylic disc that I covered in baking paper before and I'm going to put that on top of this cake, baking paper side down, and then I'm going to flip the cake over. Now, 
Now once that's flipped over, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the acrylic disc that my cake was initially sitting on. And if your acrylic disc or cake board, whatever you're using, is a little bit hard to remove because the buttercream's gone firm, you can just use a thin spatula or a knife and just run it across the edge of the bottom of the cake and that'll help you release it from the cake. My one came off really easily, which is good. And now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the top of this cake with another thick layer of buttercream, like how I covered the bottom of this cake. And then I'm also going to cover the sides and smooth it out with my cake scraper. Now just be careful because this top part of this layer isn't crumb coated. So you don't want any of those crumbs to kind of come up on your outer layer of buttercream. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put that thick layer on because I don't have many crumbs on my cake. But if you do have a really crumbly cake, then you might just wanna put a really thin layer of buttercream on and pop it into the fridge just for about 10 minutes to allow it to firm up and then do your next layer of buttercream on top. So I'm just covering the cake now the same way that I would cover a normal layer cake. So you just wanna hold your cake scraper at a 90 degree angle, nice and straight, so that you've got nice straight sides on your cake. Now I'm just filling up any gaps and I'll re-scrape my cake. Now I'm just cleaning the top of my cake by scraping off the excess with my offset spatula. Now you wanna try and get everything as smooth as possible and kind of fill up any gaps that you may see, but don't worry about getting it super, super smooth because we are going to pop this into the fridge right after we're done for about an hour or so, and then that's going to firm up the buttercream and we're going to come back and do one final scrape and it's going to reveal this beautifully smooth buttercream. but still try and get it as smooth as you can, just so that you don't have to do so much scraping later on. Okay, so my cake is almost there now, so I'm going to pop it into the fridge now for a good hour or so, so one to two hours should be fine. You really wanna make sure you're leaving your cake in the fridge for a good amount of time to allow the buttercream to become really nice and firm, and then we're going to come back and clean up this cake and finish off our top wood cake. So my cake is out of the fridge now, the buttercream is really nice and firm, so I'm gonna go ahead now and smooth it out one more time with my cake scraper. Now as you're scraping it, it's almost like you're carving into the cake and it's going to start removing the top layer of buttercream. Now as far as I know, this technique which I'm using now where I'm scraping cold buttercream only works for meringue based buttercream. So if you're making this cake using say an American style buttercream, then you wanna make sure that your cake is already nice and smooth in the way that you want it to look before you pop it into the fridge to let it kind of set for, you know, one or two hours. So yeah, now I'm just going to scrape my cake with my cake scraper and you're going to see a beautiful smooth finish appear. So I'm just going to start off with the top. So as you can see, as I'm scraping the sides, it's becoming really nice and smooth and I'm getting a nice sharp edge on the top of my cake as well. Now once you've finished scraping your cake and you're happy with how it looks and you've got some nice smooth sides and sharp edges, then the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna grab an acrylic disc and you wanna pop it on top of your cake and then flip your cake over. And now I'm going to remove the baking paper that I had earlier that was on my other acrylic disc. and it should just easily come off. Now, if you notice that your baking paper isn't easily coming off the way that you want it to, that means that your buttercream hasn't completely set, so you need to leave it in the fridge for a little bit longer, but if it's good to go, then it should come off really easy just like that. 
Now, if you do find that there are kind of any little holes anywhere, once you've taken your baking paper off, just fill it with a little bit more buttercream and then smooth it out with your cake scraper or even your offset spatula. Just gonna clean up the edges. Okay, now once you're happy with how that's looking, then the next step is to cut off some of the side of your round cake, which is then going to be flipped over to be your cake top forward cake. So you wanna make sure that you're not cutting off too less, otherwise it's going to not be able to stand properly because you need kind of a good enough base for it to you know, stand up right. But then you also wanna make sure that you're not cutting off too much, otherwise you're not gonna get that beautiful kind of shape when you flip your cake over. So I'm just going to make a line where I want to cut it and then just have a look from the front to make sure that it's kind of the shape that you want and then just cut it. And then the next thing that you want to do is you just want to grab your cake board that your cake's going to be sitting on and you want to put a little bit of buttercream down where your cake's going to be sitting so that our cake is nicely stuck to our cake board. So I'm just doing kind of like a nice straight line because remember the bottom of our cake now is going to be straight like that, not round. So you just want to make sure that you're putting it somewhere kind of in the middle of the cake board. And then now with clean hands, and this shouldn't be a problem because your buttercream should be really nice and firm, is we're simply going to take the cake off this acrylic disc and simply place it onto our cake board. Now an easy way to do that is to just let the bottom of your cake rest on your hand and then just gently remove the acrylic disc and then just gently place your cake onto your cake board. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and start smoothing out some of this side over here to get rid of that chocolate that's on there. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit of buttercream on the top there. Now once you've cleaned up the outside of the cake and you're happy with how it looks, then the next step is just to pop this into the fridge for about 10 minutes or so just to allow that buttercream that we placed on the bottom to firm up so that your cake doesn't move anywhere. And then your cake top forward base is pretty much done and you can continue to decorate this cake however you like. So I'm going to put some flowers into this cake so I'm just going to pop this in the fridge now and we'll be back once it's ready to decorate. So to decorate my top forward cake today, I've just got a whole bunch of fake flowers here. Just make sure that you have rinsed and dried fake flowers if you are going to be poking them into your cake. So I've just got some roses here as well as some greenery and I'm just gonna go ahead and just poke that into the cake. Okay, so I think I'm happy with how that looks now and that is my cake top forward cake all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to create this cake top forward cake. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this and thanks again for watching Cakes by MK.